Researchers are peeling back the curtain on an ancient mystery. A prehistoric reptile hunted in waters right above this soil, its bones and teeth seeing the light of day for the first time in 80 million years, all thanks to a teen from Texas. What's the latest, paleontologist? More jaw. It's a jaw from a mosasaur. 14-year-old Walter Campbell found it. Well, the, the mystery deepens. I called the guy over and he's like, what is this? And he's like, I think that might be a mosasaur skull. And I was really surprised by that. During summer break, Walter came from Texas with his family to visit his grandpa in Morden. Dave Stoby bought two fossil dig passes to the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. He thought Walter would pick his mom or dad to go along. He picked me. And I got to confess, I, I had a bit of a bad attitude because here we are outdoors on my knees, digging in the dirt, hot weather. But he wanted me to come. And I'll tell you, it was an amazing day. Listen, I just had a feeling about this spot. One yeah. of Jerry Peters' jobs yeah. is to scout out bone beds like this. We got skull here. Uh, we have another piece over there with the tooth still intact. A lifelong fossil hunter, Peters found his first mosasaur bone when he was eight in the 1970s. Call it luck or instinct, he pointed Walter to his first mosasaur bone. I love watching kids when they find, uh, find a fossil and they're taking it out of the ground. You can just see their eyes are lighting up. Manitoba would be completely underwater at this time, 80-ish 80, 80 million years ago. Bruno Costa is a PhD student at the University of Manitoba. He's studying rocks and fossils, getting a handle on what life was like for the many marine dinosaurs, birds, sharks, fish, turtles, and other creatures that lived in this ancient ecosystem. So it was quite a lush environment for these animals to live in. So picture basically a full-on ocean of probably more than 300 feet in depth for sure at this time and this particular locality. That's where Walter the Mosasaur was living in. That could be a Tylosaurus, but we are not sure. That's right, the Mosasaur, still being pieced together, has been named Walt. We always name, uh, informal name, uh, every specimen, and obviously this is going to be uh, Walt, uh, our new Mosasaur. A nickname Grandpa Dave blurted out to the fossil team at the moment of discovery. Now I actually have proof to all of like the people at school that I dug up this most sewer because they're just <laughs> named after me. The fossil digs cost about $200 a person, priceless to Dave and Walter. There's so many things you can spend money on with your grandkids. Go, go to a Winnipeg Jets game or go to Disney World and ride rides. But right in my own backyard, I got paleontologists who give a grandpa and his grandson a, a hands-on experience. Uh, that was pretty special. Now, Walt, nowhere near the size of Bruce here. He's the 50-foot Tylosaur variety of Mosasaur, one of the best specimens ever, and the mascot for Morden and the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. This newer dig site, active for only the past three field seasons, has already produced three Mosasaur skeletons. Now, that's giving staff at the Fossil Discovery Centre hope that maybe more of Bruce and Walt's relatives are just waiting to be discovered. Bryce Hoy, CBC News, Morden, Manitoba.